Good day, my friends. It's another day for today's talk, and I am Marty G. And today I have a brand new friend from one of the local chambers of commerce business. I have Alora Ke- Laura Kelsch. I knew I was gonna mess it up, Laura. I practiced this. I practiced it about a million times. Laura Kelsch from the Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for being on today. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. You are so welcome. I'm so glad to have you. So tell us who you are and what you do for our Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, so um, I'm their marketing and communications manager. I've been working there since uh, March 2019. So it's been about three years now. I started off as the marketing communications coordinator and kind of um, got a promotion back in 2020. Congratulations, Um, or I'm sorry, whichever way you want to look at it. (laughs) <laughs> no, it's great. Um, Usually promotion so basically... be more responsibility, doesn't it? More work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit, <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. Yeah, so basically what I, the work that I do for the chamber is I kind of manage all of like the visual assets. So I do like the photography and the graphic design work for all of our different programs and such that we provide for members. And then I'm also kind of in charge of just all of our communications pieces. So all those newsletters that we send out to people each week, um, We also have an online news blog that I kind of curate the content for, get those posted kind of on a um, 24-7 basis, but we kind of release monthly issues as well. So just sharing out member news, um, managing the social media pages as well, and just all that good stuff. Wow, you must have a pretty big staff. (laughs) Well, we're only, we're seven people (laughs) or eight people. You have a big staff in your head. You you have a lot of stuff to do, it sounds like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on my to-do list pretty much at all times. <laughs> okay. So tell me, how long have you... So you've been there for two two years, a little over two About years, right? The three years now. Three years now. So what were you doing before? So before I went to the chamber, um, so I went to college and I graduated from University of Oregon. I majored in digital art and I had a minor in business administration. Okay. Um, for a while there, I went and lived abroad in Mexico, actually, and I was working for an advertising agency for a little bit there. Okay. And I was doing kind of social media stuff for them. Um, before that, I was doing a lot of uh, remote work, doing transcribing and captioning, um, so kind of subtitle making for deaf and hard of hearing. Um, I did that at University of Oregon as their accessible um, as in their accessible education center, I was their caption media assistant. And then I kind of did it remote as well after that, um, mm-hmm. while I was in Mexico as well, kind of um, doing that. And I also, I just have like a background in arts. I was an intern for a while at White Box Gallery in Portland while I was okay. doing school up there for a little bit. And I also volunteered for a little bit at Oregon Supporting Living Program. I was an art studio intern. So you're just kind of artsy, like that's just kind of in your blood. It is, yeah. I kind of like to choose things to st- and stay in that path. Okay. So now are you from Eugene originally, or did you just kind of just uh, find this, put this opportunity down here in this area after you finished at the U? It's basically that. So I, I'm originally from California. I'm Bay Area, this town called Pleasanton, California. Okay. And yeah, I came up here for school and... I went and did a fifth year program up in Portland. So I was sticking around in Portland for a little bit, but I came back down once this job kind of presented itself to me. So I've been in Eugene since. Okay, well, I'm glad uh, you're you're a transplant like I. I am myself. I've been here a little bit longer. I'm a Buffalo, actually. I'm from Denver. So uh, CU, I'm a CU Buffalo grad. So yeah, I'm not going to join you being that duck. Sorry, I can't, can't do it. I just, I can't do it. I try. I've been here Not for everyone. Just, I can't do it. Puddles actually chases me every time he sees me. It's really weird. He really? Does. <laughs> he does. So tell me about the, the Springfield Chamber of Commerce and how it differs. I know we, we've got two real close, Springfield and Eugene. How, what, what's, what's different about the Springfield Chamber of Commerce? Yeah, so I mean, it is easy to just kind of compare the two, but each chamber kind of has unique opportunities and different programs and um, different ways to kind of connect with the business community. And I would say that the Springfield um, chamber has a pretty good focus too on like advocacy work. And um, we, yeah, so we're a 501c3 nonprofit and we're composed of private, public, 
and nonprofit organizations in the area. So in Springfield, but also in Eugene. And so there's a lot of collaboration that goes on as well between the chambers. Um, but yeah, we offer services that strengthen, represent, and promote businesses in our region. And there's just a lot of networking opportunities, business education. Um, we can connect people to talent in our area. And yeah. We got a good crew. I, I know Vonnie really when she first came on board and she's just done a great job of just building a good team around her. And I personally love you guys. I live in spring. I live in Eugene. I mean, it's not like I, you know, I want to say it doesn't really matter here in Lane County. We kind of cross borders all the time. It's not like a yeah. sort of mentality or anything like that, but definitely. Um, yeah. Um, so is there anything that people should, should know? I mean, I mean, as far as what they can do to get, what, I mean, how do you help members from your position is what are some of the things they don't understand about what you do is from a marketing standpoint, what can they, what can they get from you? I mean, you do a lot. Is that just particularly just for the chamber or is that just for members too? Or what, how do you, how do you, how do you? Yeah. So basically the chamber works for members. So everything okay. that we do is on, on behalf of members and on behalf of businesses in our community. And so to become, I recommend any business or individual become involved with the chamber of commerce. If they're kind of leadership and business oriented, um, we just have a lot of opportunities again, like networking events, um, there's, if you want to become connected to, we have a lot of opportunities to join our different committees. So we have like a government issues committee, economic development. Um, we have one that was formerly our education committee, but now it's called our work ready advisory committee and just um, different opportunities to like plug into those. And um, depending on like kind of what you're looking to do, we also, so the chambers, the Eugene and Springfield chambers as well, we host like a leadership program, Leadership Eugene Springfield. Um, that's a good opportunity as well for professionals to come in and go through that program is really, really good. Um, and then we just offer a lot of different opportunities like advertising as well and just anything that we can do to elevate businesses especially small businesses and then also just connecting them to right to the correct resources in our area and i think you're uh, and what you said right there i think is probably one of my favorite things about the chamber itself that people don't realize because i'm like you i think um the chamber is a great uh hub for connection you know, people don't recognize, you know, if you're a new business or you're an established business or you're trying to make sure you understand what's going on in either government, policy, procedure, mm -hmm. uh, would you, would that be a good, a good assumption to say for the local chambers? Like, is, you got Definitely. a question, come ask us, right? Yeah, that's basically what we try to do is any question you have for us, um, we just want you to come and ask and we, someone on staff will have the answer for you. That's a, that's a great way to look at it. So if you think about your, your, uh, your role there and uh, some, of the, some of the people you worked with, do you have any, uh, any goals next as far as, you know, where you're going to be, what you're going to do? I mean, it's, it's three years. I mean, you're going to run, you're going to take the chamber over or? <laughs> not, not, maybe not take it over, but we definitely, um, one of the big projects that I'm looking forward to is actually we're going to go through a rebrand, I believe, like get a new logo, get a new look and kind of just like strengthen our mission statements and all of that. Um, I'm going to look forward to that just to kind of have, you know, the look of our organization kind of match the work that we're doing. And so that's something I really look forward to. And then just also strengthening our different um, stories that we're putting out there, you know, really making sure that we're letting people know the greatness that's going on in our business community and in our local community. So is there, any, um, is there anything that you could think of that people may not understand that the chamber does that you that you would want to pass on you know because I think as much as I love getting to know everybody I work with I do these conversations with I try to make sure I can either refer or get in for get, spread the word or you know get people to know what, what are some things you think I could pass on I think some things you could pass on is we just have a lot of opportunities for um we bring in speakers from like around the region and we'll have them speak at events of ours that are like they're called lunch Vox and leadership summit these different opportunities that you could hear from people that where you might not otherwise hear from them um, we kind of try to really bring in talent from different sectors of the business community and have them speak to like what they're what they're really well educated about and so and then, um, we're, you know, we're constantly getting input, too, from the community, like what they want, what people want to hear about. 
And I think it's, it's really good for that. And then we, it's just a really good way to, if in a more general sense too, if you're just trying to become more involved in the community, it's a really good connecting resource of like, well, you know, there's all these opportunities at this nonprofit that we can connect you with. Like we know those people there. Um, if you want to become kind of, you know, I want to help students in the area and I want them to realize that there's a lot of kind of offerings locally for um, job opportunities and such. Like I want, I kind of want to become involved with the kids and at students. Um, we have our work ready initiative is a great program for that. A lot of people like that. Um, and then just if you just want to get to know people as well, like we have our greeters committee, they meet every Thursday morning, just to like let people know how they're doing, let them know what their business is. And there's just a lot of opportunities to spotlight yourself and to spotlight your business. All right. And just out of everyone knows, a true transparency, I am a member of the chamber. I, I think it's very important. And uh, we were talking earlier, because there are different things you can actually do. Uh, it would safe, be safe to say it's like, you. you Kind of get what you put into it right i mean literally there's so much that's available and i'm going to show you guys a little bit of the back end because if you sign up you get this great little web portal that's kind of cool let's see where's my little share button there it is Boop. so yes and also through this portal too you can connect with businesses directly so you can send them a message through this member portal um there's different you can set up hot deals so like deals specifically for chamber members if you want to kind of bring in business specifically from there and you can yeah. do um there's the hot deals you were talking about and you mm -hmm. can do reports uh, there's all kinds of things back here that they've set up for you to do um literally i think it's a fantastic little tool that i haven't had a chance to even delve into yet but you're just starting or you're you're looking for something ad additional you know, I don't know what the uh, the traffic is for the chamber, but I think uh, just ideally, most uh, cities and states, the chambers are the first place people go. So just in a mindset of just regular foot traffic, I'm assuming the digital traffic's just as high. So why not, right? Yeah, it's definitely a good opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So is there is there anything else? I mean, that like I just want to make sure what what. What can we do, viewer-wise, me-wise, what can we do to help you? What, what's the best way to help you moving forward? I think the best thing that I can recommend to people is to just give us a call. <laughs> call us here at the Chamber, see, you know, talk to one of us, see kind of how you can get, how we can get you plugged in. And um, we're always, you know, wel we're always welcoming new members. And, you know, even if, if you're a new business as well, we do like ribbon cutting ceremonies, stuff like that. That's always a good little marketing opportunity to get, um, to have a nice welcome into the community. And yeah, we just, we want to hear from you and we want to know kind of what you need. We're here for you. And I'll make sure I get all your contact information in the uh, comments. I've got website and phone number and all that good stuff and email. I'll make sure all that gets in the comments. Is there anything you want to share before we go? Um, the, not that I can think of. No, just thank you so much for having me here and thanks for putting this together. You bet. My pleasure. I really appreciate you taking the time. But now before you do go, um, there's something I always spring on people. Uh, it's the segment that uh, comes out of nowhere, hits you in the face before you know what it's called. Let's get real. Oh, dear. Okay. You know, let's get real is out of my book of 3000 questions. That's a lot of questions. Yes. I go through and systematically pick three questions random and mm -hmm. I put them to you. So there's no way I could have prepared for this. So <laughs> <None whatsoever. laughs> true and honest. <laughs> None whatsoever. So question number one, Laura. What is your favorite hiding place? <laughs> um home. I would just, you know, stick around at home and not leave go my home, house. Right? <laughs> yeah. I want to go home. To be oh, honest. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. Question number two. Or another, actually I have another one too. Um, okay. I, I work or I volunteer and I'm part of a member or, or it's a art, local arts organization called Eugene Darkroom Group. And so okay. I, I like hiding there as well in the darkroom, you know. I'm going to say it's got to be somewhere where there's art because you're kind of an art nerd. I'm taking a little, a little bit. Yeah. Like that. That's okay. Okay. All right. Here's another one. 
What TV sitcom family, old or new, would you like to be a member of? Ooh. Does it have to be a family or can it just be like a, a group? Like, a group. I feel like yeah. a lot of the... Yeah. I would say I really like Parks and Rec. So I think... Yeah. I would... Okay. <laughs> that I would be one that. I would really like. And I also really like Community as well. Okay. One, one of those. I like that. I like that. Okay. Last question. What's the hardest thing about being you? The hardest thing about being me, I guess, is sometimes I'm just too in my head, I guess. It, just trying to, you know, be comfortable with being myself. I'm working on It's something I feel like I've gotten better at, but still always working on it. I have that problem all the time. <laughs> sometimes I get a linear brain with a creative. It's just yeah. chaos. In with there. the creatives, too, I feel like sometimes you... We're really good at like beating ourselves down or, you know, not recognizing when we're doing good work, but it's, we're, it's allowed, we're allowed to appreciate, you know, what we're doing. And yeah, we're always looking for approval. Is this okay? Yeah. Like this? I hate that. I couldn't relate more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I hate that about it. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, fantastic. Okay. You guys, I want you to reach out to the chamber. Make sure you guys are, uh, if you've got a business, got questions, uh, anything related to the community or the community it serves, definitely reach out to Alora over there or the chamber staff. They're, they're great people. I know them well. Uh, so uh, I'm, I guess I'm a little spoiled because, you know, we're friends. <laughs> but, Happy uh, time. Definitely. Uh, I'll be seeing you here, you know, once a month, our once a month date. You know, we got that every, you know, every month date and hang out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but thanks again for being on. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks so much. You bet. Take care. Yeah, you too. See ya. Right. I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They want to knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Look, straight from the mud like Ruby. Ruby. Straight to the stage, they love me. love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate, that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving. I've been popping in my city. Well, okay. Shout it, say she love the way we do it. Do it with me. I be too turned up to ever. Talking pennies, I need bigger bucks. About to catch a flight, I need to switch it up. Got that black boy joy, might do my dance on him. Take no disrespect, might put my hands on him.